It's playoff time in Oklahoma City, and InsideThunder.com presents the Thunder Game Report, powered by Wheeler Whitlock Insurance Agency, giving you the best value for your insurance dollar. Steven, this is your first playoff, so got to imagine tonight is going to be one of the ones that you remember for a long, long time. Just what were your emotions tonight as you guys made that comeback? Um, definitely just, I don't know. Dopamine levels were pumping, so yeah, just huge excitement. It was um, me and Grant and the oh, well, the rookies really were just like I don't know, had a weird wow. feeling. We're like, oh, we felt like we're gonna come back, and just it happened. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Your your defense on Blake was good tonight. You were also able to be a factor kind of at the dunker spot. How'd you feel about the way you played uh, in general tonight? Oh, it was it was. I don't know, just went out and. Play defense. I try to really focus on defense, and uh, yeah, they're pretty much spoon feeding me. Old Russell was spoon feeding me some uh, dunks, so yeah, it was good. Can you talk about Russell's play tonight? What do you want to know? What do you think of it? Oh, it's just amazing. You know, just another game really for him. Just he just goes out there and plays as hard as he can, and kind of inspires everyone else on the team. So yeah. Steve, how, Steve, how important is it for you to? Go to LA and finish off the series. Where are you from? Tempo. Knew it. Okay. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> I was throwing off. Like, yeah, just down the road. From oh, the road of yeah. yeah, true, yeah. true. So what'd you say? What yeah, is it? How important to, to go to LA and finish off the series here? Oh, you know, last game for, um, well, potentially for us. So we've got to go in there with the right mindset and play with a lot of intensity and not take a full advantage. You yeah. still have a few pinch yourself moments at this stage, mate. I mean, NBA playoffs, a game like tonight. Probably after that play, after the last like 30 seconds of that game. So, yeah, I was, I don't know, felt weird. Yeah. So, I mean, mate, as, a, as I say, I mean, first playoffs, it's been a pretty monumental year for you. I mean, are you in the reflection stage yet or wait for after the season, what do you think, what you've done this year? Reflection of what, just the whole season, the yeah. whole thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, it'll probably hit me after, after the season. My, everything's finished probably and just think back and you know and try and try and learn from whatever happened and yeah. move forward. Mate, everyone says how much of a fun sort of individual you are and you must be really enjoying this team and obviously there's a pretty good vibe here in this team as well. Tell me about that. Yeah, yeah, the vibe's amazing. I mean we've got like really good veterans yeah. kind of like, you know, drop knowledge bombs every day. Yeah. And then we've got, you know, a lot of young players that just keep you know, keep everyone happy and I don't know, it's just a really good place, man. Just Really good play, especially Oklahoma as well. There's such nice people here, man. So yeah. Choice. I mean, last two weeks for you. I mean, see, Kevin Durant did that speech and mentioned you, and then a bit of a write-up in the New York Times the other day. I mean, not very often a boy from Rotorua gets in the New York Times. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah. Apparently it was, it's like a big deal, so. Yeah, it went real I'll take it. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. How do you sort of reflect on the last couple of weeks? Couple of, I guess, big sort of things. Reflect on what? Oh, I just like the like MVP speech and Kevin's thoughts on you and. You know. Oh, kind of. Oh, for Kevin's speech. Yeah, not not disrespecting the New York Times. I don't actually don't actually care. But like MVP speech, that was like that meant a lot more just because you know he's just teammate and I don't know the fact that I never talk about my background at all. Obviously, New Zealand. I always brag about New Zealand, but then like you know my own story, I never talk about it at all. And so you know he said that he like kind of looked it up and whatever. So I was like someone who cares, so it kind of just, yeah, felt differently towards them. Creating a bit of name for yourself, obviously, with that sort of tough sort of style of play, a bit of the rugby stuff back home as well. Why do you think people, uh, you know, make you a bit of a target or whatever? Oh, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know. I just got there and try and, like, seriously, just play hard, as hard as I can. And, yeah. and I have to do exactly what the coaches say. If they say, oh, go and make sure you hit dudes, and I'm like, okay, go hit dudes. and. People get mad. They hit me, and it's kind of like a routine, really. Yeah. Yeah, as far as out of control, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, pretty weird. The basketball World Cup. Have you made up your mind whether you're going to put on the old black singlet for that? Oh, man, that's, that's a hard one, man. It's, I'm not sure, man. Probably, uh, yeah. I'm not sure. It's not looking like I am. Yeah. Unfortunately, I really wanted to, but 
yeah, we've got still got I've still got a long way to go. Still got a lot of work to do. Is that because of I guess the OKC commitments, that sort of thing, or yeah, yeah OKC commitments, and it's, it's, it's my own personal one as well. I really want to. I feel that I'll really help. help oh, I'll well, grow a lot better if I just spend the time in OKC and mm. with the coaches and whatnot. So yeah, that's that's mainly it. As well as OKC, they want to make sure that I, they kind of meet me halfway in there, because mm. I told them where I want where I want to go. And so they said, yeah, we can help you out and stuff like that. So yeah, doesn't doesn't mean I won't do it in the, in the future. You know what I mean? So cool, man. Just another couple of questions, I guess. Firstly, the bigger <laughs> he's up. Yeah. Just a couple of um, yeah, I guess the biggest lesson you've learnt this year. Firstly, as a basketballer, but secondly, as just a bloke as well. What, so what have I learnt? Yeah, I guess the biggest biggest lesson, like the biggest things you sort of take on board. Um, outside of basketball, you said? Basketball. Oh, and oh, in, yeah, basketball. Yeah. Um, oh, I've learned from kind of just the veterans, how they try and really absorb all the knowledge. Then they, all of them, they repeat the same thing. You've got to get into a routine and stick through it. And that's all I've been doing. And um, depending on what your routine is, is how, how far you'll grow or whatever, and how far you'll go. So like fish, I literally try and do everything fish does. Like if fish eats egg whites, yeah. I'll eat egg whites. Like I never eat egg whites. He just ate egg whites, and I just do heaps of random stuff. Just whatever he does, I'll do. Like I always mimic him, and yeah, and that that seems to be working for me for the routine. Um, the bloke, I don't know. No shit, it's a hard one. I learned. I learned just to be myself. It's way cheesy, bro. It's super, super cheesy. We'll put more, mate, that the headline back home, mate. Yeah. <laughs> cheesy Adam. <laughs> Adam lays on the cheese. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sweet, bro. And one final thing. Um, who do you, you're looking at? Obviously, going back home for a bit after the season's over. What, what's the plans there? Yeah, I'm not sure yet. Depends, it depends on playoffs and also with OKC. We haven't even discussed it at all. Mm. Too focused on uh, winning, winning right now in the playoffs. So, yeah. If it happens, it happens. Whatever. Biggest thing you miss from home? Bro, the pies. I yeah. swear to God, bro, the pies. There's actually a pie place in LA. Oh. Get yeah. out of it. I met this Aussie guy, and um, he was a media dude. Yeah, he, he told me there was like a place where they sell pies and stuff. But it's Australian, so I feel like I'm betraying New Zealand if I go there. So I'm like, Whoa. But I've got a real big craving for it, so I need to go there, man. Sure, dude. <laughs> Cheers, man. Sweet. Thanks, man. Sam Merch with InsideThunder.com. We had an opportunity to meet a very unique journalist this evening who came all the way from New Zealand to interview Adams. Uh, can you tell us about yourself and, and what you're doing here? Yeah, so I'm a, a Kiwi journalist, uh, sort of cruising around the world, uh, meeting up with a few Kiwi athletes doing their thing here in the States and, uh, and worldwide. And uh, my journey brought me to Oklahoma City where uh, Rotorua's finest Steve Adams is, is doing his thing. <laughs> Excellent. And where can we where can we look up your article? What what media source do you work for? Yeah, so I work for uh, I'm doing a bit of work for Fairfax Media. So I'm um, doing a piece, had a chat with Steve just before, and check it out in the Sunday Star Times, uh, two ninety nine at the Dairy uh, if you in New Zealand and shoot down, get the read. Yeah. And you guys had a bit of a connection in there. Uh, he noticed your accent right away as journalists were asking questions and the excitement on his face to to hear someone from home. What was that like for you? Yeah, it was really cool. Um, yeah, no, there's not many of us Kiwis, you know, like we, uh, we're few and far between and I guess he's in a pretty crazy world now, NBA, the money, everything, so a bit of a taste of home was pretty good and I guess he opened up about a few things, the pies and uh, a few other things he was missing, so I'm sure he appreciated it. Excellent. Well, thank you and uh, we will be looking forward to your story. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.